where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at. Raising kids, cleaning shit, get along. Bro. Yeah. So, like, I brought up last week how in India, adult males are breastfeeding on their wives. And I was like, if you're in this relationship, hit me up. Hit me up. I had a deep fantasy and fetish to have an adult nursing relationship for years. I fell in love with someone and the fetish turned into a reality organically. I put nipple suction cups on her nipples one night. And once we took them off, some fluid came out of her nipples. Not a lot, but it was definitely measurable. She couldn't believe it. Her mind was blown. It was 20 plus years since she had lactated and had a baby. She was immediately interested. <laughs> she wanted... <laughs> interested is the curious word. I don't know. I don't know. Was she or did you perceive? Okay. She wanted me to suck on them to see if more would come out. I, I love all that she wanted me to suck Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is my favorite phrase, too. This is my favorite phrase. This is my favorite. People go, long story short, she loved the experience and it developed into something she and both of us desired to do first thing in the morning and laying in bed before falling asleep. Long story short is always like, there's such a long story to how I got here and it's interesting and I'm not going to share those fun and cool details with you. No, the detail, the devil is in the details, kids. Now, it, it, see, they always go, one thing led to another. I need to know what those things are. It brought us close. It relaxes us. It heals us if we had a hard day. For neither of us, uh, for neither of us, is it a fetish to be a baby or anything like that? It immediately stopped feeling like a fetish right from the beginning. It feels like a natural way to bond with your partner. We've continued to do it for four years now, nearly every day. One amazing thing came from it too. Her mama jugs got a lot firmer. She had a little less than firm breasts all her life because of our adult nursing. Her breasts became so much firmer that we joked that it was a free boob job. She's nearly 50. And when she sleeps on her back, her tits point at the ceiling instead of getting lost in her armpits like most women her age. Thanks for being so raw and honest, John. I think that might be because of the milk supply being in there because it does firm them up when you're lactating. It's get, it can actually get hard. Um, once you start breastfeeding, you have to release that milk. Otherwise, it can get hard and uh, it hurts to have those tits. Well, John, sounds like you found something that works for both of you. Um, please call. <laughs> I... Can we get John, John, will you will you leave a voicemail and leave a contact number or email? Because I, 213-375-5184. I, I really need to know these details and what this is like for her. I mean, I get it in a way because, you know, breastfeeding is, it's so intimate and such a sweet time with your child. Um, I, I, can, I can understand how you would leap to, but you're saying it's not sexual. It's not a fetish. I don't know. This is what that's what it feels like when you satisfy a fetish. <laughs> <laughs> I say it with experience. <laughs> yeah, I think it's still a fetish. It's but not but it's sexual. nice that he's getting it, right? Listen. Get and, yours. And, and and listen, no one this is a these are these are consenting adults who are just doing what they want to fucking do. It's fine. Nobody's getting hurt here. Nobody's getting hurt. Yeah, no harm, no foul, right? Yeah, it's fine. I mean it's not fine because I judge, but it's fine. <laughs> It's not fine. I mean, it's disgusting, but it's fine. Right. <laughs> it's repulsive and goes against everything. And they should go to prison, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I personally would rather die than start breastfeeding again. But I, uh, wait, but wait. What if, now, what if this hypothetical, Tom comes up to you mm -hmm. and he's like, you know, Christina, I've been, I've been watching where my mom's at a lot. Yeah. And I didn't even think that this was something that was going to stir up something in me, but could we try this breastfeeding play? I hear it's huge in India. Look, I'm I'm very open. I'm so open to many things. I really am. And then there's things I'm just like, that is so much work. Like it's too, it really is too much work to breastfeed and to keep the milk supply. And then I've got huge cans already. And when they get full of milk, it's just, it's painful. I don't like it. And no. it's once in the morning, once at night, like, holy shit, daily. <laughs> it's he, a full-time job. And he has to keep doing it. Otherwise, like I said, you can get infected milk ducts. It's very, and I would get infected ducts all the time. I hated it. I would not do it. I Or I could put like, um, 
a fake chest on. I just let him suck on my my nips, but do I have to make milk? You know, like it's part of the thing. Yeah, I think that's part of it. That's a big part of it. But hey, you know, getting one of those fake things to strap on. Now we're cooking with gas. You see, now yeah. now we're meeting in the middle. Put like a line on there. I don't, that's so gross. No, Dov, stop talking. To me. I don't, why do you tell me these ideas? I have a question for you. I don't want it. I have a question. I, for I'm you. not sure it's, I want it's not, it. It's not. It's not about breastfeeding. How's that? I'm exhausted. Okay, go go. <laughs> what is uh, if you can share? Yeah. What is the craziest thing? Because dudes are all insane, and we all want weird shit. <laughs> What is the craziest thing a dude has ever asked you never for? You, you, don't, you don't have to say that you did it or never not. Never telling you. You can't? I would never tell you. You can't say that? I've done, I've listened. No, I'm, not, I'm not asking what you did. I'm asking oh. what's the craziest thing a dude asked you for? You might have done it, you might not have. I don't, we don't need now that. I do almost everything. I got <laughs> you didn't need to say that. <laughs> I do. Look, look, look. Who am I fooling? Like, I, everybody listening knows me. I'm not, I'm not a prude. <laughs> I don't, I, I, you look, I don't think sexuality is, is um, gross or taboo or I don't, I don't care I, unless it involves caca. I don't want caca. Um, vomit that's outlawed boogers, right? Sexual boogers. I, I can't even fathom that. And you never had a guy to ask you to do any of those, of those um, things? Um, actually, uh, no, no anal. I've never really had a, a firm request for that, you know, um, Hold on, let me think. I'm trying to think if there's anybody I haven't accommodated. That's the problem. Like I, <laughs> <laughs> we can move on if you want. <laughs> It'll come to me. I'm trying to remember the ghosts of Christmas past here. It's a, it's been a while, you guys, since I've had someone other than the Segura. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. No, no, it's not totally weird. That's the thing. I've been pretty fortunate with that. Um, no, no, nothing that I wouldn't accommodate. Put it that way. Well, I do, I do oh, wish yeah. I had that though. I wish there was a guy that was like, here are my dolls. And then you're like, what? <laughs> These are all my girlfriends. And you're like, what are you talking about? This one's Sheila. She's a blonde. This one's uh, Sandy. She's a brunette. You know, like that guy. And he's like the Hugh Hefner of the, the sex doll. And you're like, what the f where do I fit in? And you see yourself saying no to that? Um, yeah, that would freak, I would run. Mm. I'd be like, nah, you don't have, um, you can't be intimate with people. If you can't be intimate with people, this is a problem. This is a problem. Same thing with like furries? Not interested in that, yeah. in the fucking least. That one's so tough. That one's so, so tough. dumb. It just, <laughs> well, I don't, what would I have to do? So walk me through what's the... I mean, I don't, I'm not, you know, super versed in it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like, it's like a spectrum like anything else and it starts from like cat ears and like a bunny tail butt plug or some shit well, and then it goes all the way to like the suit you know the full isn't fucking it, fox isn't it suit. just putt play but like more wide oh. wide of a range I'd, I'd say putt play is a part of that's Furry like within stuff? that spectrum oh, I yeah see. I, I'd say yeah I'm also not you know fucking no yeah any of the experts <laughs> on putt play and first <laughs> <laughs> but isn't this part of the nerd uh, the cool nerd culture is this furry stuff like the gaming world? I'm sorry, I, no. I really have no idea. I, oh, okay. I would not say so. I think, oh. yeah, even all gamers and anime, like, you know, we cross paths, but I think it's still like a, oh, you're a furry. Like, that's different. Yeah. <laughs> so the fetish is I wear a furry costume. Mm -hmm. It's it. You dress like some sort of animal and, and act like some sort of animal to some extent. You okay, can go like all that. the way to the end of the spectrum where you're fucking you're you identify as a wolf Ay, and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit gets crazy. Shit gets crazy. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, you know, I don't. That's not in my wheelhouse. I'm not really that. I'm not excited by that. No, I don't think that's, that's not exciting. A lot of people. It's tough because it's like it's animals, man. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's tough to separate your brain from what you already think of animals. You know. I think it's that's why one. I'm not prone to that kind of stuff because I'm not comfortable with being fucking that animals taboo yeah like i'm not <laughs> like even calling tom daddy or something would be so taboo like, oh, like i don't have that wiring where i can overlook a societal taboo and it doesn't excite me enough to want to go there i guess 
Like, ugh. Where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at? Where my mom's wearing thongs, hitting bongs at? Raising kids, cleaning shits, need a long nap. Where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at? <laughs> 